Today I'm going to go over in a short video how to fit a roof tile vent. This is the kind of vent we're going to be going over today. It's a concrete interlocking tile vent. This is what the back of the vent unit looks like. It has a circular section there which you can attach a tube to if you're using it for a bathroom extractor, um, for a shower room, something like that. In our case, we're just going to be fitting some vents on this roof because there's a condensation problem in the loft where they're getting moisture in the, um, on the felt and the timbers. This is the house I'm going to be fitting vents to. It's a typical semi-detached property here in the UK. Uh, I'm going to be fitting three vents to the front area of the roof, three to the back and two on the side. So eight vents in total, which should give sufficient air movement and room for the moisture in the loft space to escape. First of all you want to work out which tile you're going to put the vent in place of and I usually put a little X on it once I've worked out which one I'm going to remove. I use the handle of a hammer just to push up the tiles, the two directly above the tile that you want to remove. Push them up so you can see the full tile to be removed. So once you've freed up the tile you want to take out, simply remove it. So take it out. And this is the space now where we're going to be fitting the vent. As gone over before, there is the rounded area on the back of the tile, which we need to now cut a hole in the felt this size so that that area can penetrate into the loft space. Sometimes this is a rectangular shape. It, you know it depends what kind of vent you've got but whatever it is mark out top and bottom and the two sides on your felt in your pencil that area ready for cutting I should add here if when you expose this area when you've removed the roof tile and you can feel a wooden rafter obstructing where the vent would go you're gonna have to fit the vent in a tile either to the left or to the right of it because you can't fit the protruded section into a rafter. So now we have a clearly defined area to cut and then basically go ahead and get your knife and cut diagonally in the shape that you've uh, just drawn out like I show here. Then each flap in this basically then it will fold over outwards to give you a hole. Use a small clout nail to tack the top flap of felt into the batten above and then the other pieces just basically fold outwards so that the uh, vent can fit in. Then it's just a case of fitting your tile vent in the position. So remove the concrete tile just to the left usually makes it easier on these interlocking tiles fit your tile in place. There's always a little nail hole on the vent tiles. You're going to want to put a nail through there but make sure the nail is not too long that it penetrates the felt through underneath. It will just go into the batten. Pull the tiles back down. This video just shows how I laid out the tiles on the front of the roof. You can see there's three fitted, one at the top there two lower down. I had the same layout on the back of this property and then two, one at the top, one at the bottom on the side of the house. And this did a fabulous job at ventilating the loft space and getting rid of the condensation. As always, thank you very much for watching the video. Please do give it a like and subscribe. It really helps me out in trying to grow my channel. Uh, much appreciated to you all. Until next time, jobs are good and